Hello everyone. In this episode of Tabletop Simulator for Dungeons and Dragons, I'm going to go through how to make an encounter. So this is where we get into the real meat. In the previous episodes, we figured out how to go through the workshop mods and collect minis. Uh, in the other episode, we talked about how to set up your table, um, getting background images like our Witcher background, uh, how to get images for the table itself for inspiration. This episode is where we're going to actually be showing, uh, spending most of our time in being creative and creating some cool encounter maps that we're actually going to run like encounters on in our game. Uh, and so this is one that I'm going to be doing for our game, uh, the one that I'm dungeon mastering. So you'll see my actual process and what my players will be playing. So I figured this was a perfect example to use. Uh, some things I've done already. Uh, I have my just a regular table here. It's just objects, table, just rectangle. I kind of like the felt bottom. When I don't need a custom table where I can link an image here, I like the felt. It looks kind of like classic game table style. Uh, added in my candles for effect. Um, first tip here is when placing props that you don't want to move ever, hover over them and hit L. It is now stuck. So I can click all around this and it's not moving. Um, only way to get it unstuck, you can hover over it and hit L again. There's it unstuck and I can pick it up. You can right click them too and do everything you want there. Um, so this is just a way to kind of ensure that everything's gonna be neat and tidy when you first enter your game because sometimes things kind of settle into place if you don't lock them and that can end up poorly. Uh, so got my Witcher background and other thing I've done, the main point uh, or main part of preparation that everybody needs to do is in that fir first episode I talked about going through the workshop, grabbing your minis to form your party. Uh, the same thing works for grabbing props and stuff. And so there's tons and tons of workshop stuff for finding props like uh, like tables and buildings and all sorts of stuff like that tons and tons of stuff for finding fighter NPCs and regular NPCs so I'll show you some of the stuff that I've found and sorted so here's my saved objects section I've got my light spheres you saw that in the previous episode as I use it for kind of like a a nice way to mark the party on a large scale map uh, I've got props trees fighters uh, there's a difference here I have fighter minis and NPC minis so all the NPC minis are kind of uh, they're unarmed, they're just kind of regular village folk, and fighters are all like all sorts of different races and everything, and they're all armored up to the teeth and ready for action. I got buildings, so this will be like when you're outside of a building. Um, our party itself, uh, walls for when I want to make the interior of a building, tiles, fire. I think fire is one of the coolest things that you can add uh, in your games. Uh, you can see like in the candles here it casts a really nice shadow and the flickering effect here goes really well it's a little bit more natural and cool form of lighting as opposed to the light spheres which look very artificial um, bag of effects uh, there's some really cool effects that you can find out there I'll see so here it is um, it's annoying because when you first search through it it loads all of the effects at once um, so ball of lightning uh, here I'll, I'll drop in a snow block and so, soon enough, uh, it might be off actually, looping effect, snow, yeah, okay, it's on. So there, it starts snowing. Um, adds a cool kind of weather effect to your game, and then uh, what you can do, because this kind of block is ugly, hover over it, spam that minus key to get it as small as you can, and I could just like go over here and put it in a nondescript location, somewhere that isn't gonna draw a lot of attention. You will see that there is a border to the snow it spawns. Looks like it's pretty much right here or so. Uh, so you can always just drop in a couple so you get some good coverage uh, and they won't draw too much attention to themselves. Uh, similar things exist uh, for fire um, and fog. So rolling gray fog. You can see nice nice rolling fog here one thing you do want to do is you can see I'm hovering over the block right now and it highlights them all and that's really ugly I'm just gonna hit L to lock that and now it doesn't highlight it, it will show the name of the thing but it doesn't like 
highlight the entire thing and just kind of break what you're looking at. Uh, so more on those later. Um, so yeah, and then fire I think is super cool. Uh, there I have there's one mod that has just several different forms of fire. There's a camp sized fire right there. It's got a nice hazy glow to it. Um, and typically they have kind of like a smoke effect. You can see the ashes rising. Small fire. Uh, same thing here. You shrink down the block uh, to make the block kind of invisible, but it also kind of scales down the fire. Um, this one maybe not so much. Uh, and then there's another one. Small fire plane. These are a little bit more intense. Uh, probably more accurate for like a like a house being on fire or maybe like a large bonfire where these would be like a campfire or you'd put this on like the tip of a torch um so yep there's all my fire effects uh i'm gonna delete these and spawn these back in because when you pull them out of the bag they go away so fire and bag of effects so a little bit of uh backdrop uh to this session and just a heads up, if you're in my party, uh, or in my game, do not watch, because spoilers ahead. Um, don't want any metagaming. So, what we've got is a uh, an orc camp. So, this is a, uh, a small encampment outside of a village that's being raided. Uh, and the orcs are preparing for battle. Um, and the little bit of backdrop here is... Uh, the main uh, force is attacking the village nearby. This is just uh, going to be uh, kind of a smaller, goofy encounter that I'm eager to see how the role-playing uh, rolls out because what it'll be, it'll be one orc um, who is left behind by the army who's kind of like a trainer for an ogre. And so they, they would have a couple ogre units to help them in their army and this ogre is a little bit skittish of going into battle so he's trying to coax the ogre to help him go into battle um, so what I've got to do here is I've got to first lay down some tiles so where are my tiles? tiles I've ordered them all in uh, their kind of what they are so you can see if it doesn't maximize so dirt is right here grass is right here I do want grass, so let's see. Is that a good looking grass? Yeah, that's a good looking grass. So I'm just gonna grab all these and I'm gonna pop this away. And now shove these to the side. This will be our main area for the encounter. I'm gonna copy this, control C, and just pop, 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 pop. Lay down a ton. I'm gonna need a ton. Um, next we want to do is we're going to want to set up our grid for this. So I want to grid it up, show lines. Um, we're going to adjust our sizing to match the grid here. Uh, it, this actually might be good. Um, what we do want is snapping. So you can choose to snap uh, to the line intersections, to the center of each grid location, or both. Um, both is good. It requires a couple, f uh, a little bit of finesse to kind of really get it where you want. So you can see it just plopped right in the center there. I can expand it to match my grid. Perfect. Um, so if you wanted to make like, to, if you wanted to represent a very large map, you would reduce the size of your grid, reduce everything down so you're kind of facing a large area. Um, this will be a little bit smaller. This is going to be one of many camps that the orcs are going to be dealing with. Um, so this will only be like a couple tents. So since I uh, made that grid the size I want, I'm actually going to wipe these out now that I think about it. I'm just going to copy this. And you can just hover your pointer over the center of where you want it to drop, and boom, it slots right into place. So there. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I think that's good. So next up is we want to 
uh, minimize our kind of cracks here. You can see there's a small crack you can see in between these tiles. So one trick I've found for minimizing that is you just give each tile a plus and you lock them. So L, L. So now they kind of grow and get flush with each other and it looks a lot neater. So plus, plus, L, L. I can probably just plus L, plus L. Perfect. Uh, and then you might be able to just highlight many. Yeah. Plus L. All right. So there you go. Nice and flush. They're locked into place. Oh, except for this one. Um, and these aren't going anywhere. They're not going to give us problems. Uh, I can see there's a little bit of crease right there. I didn't plus that one. There. So there. Nice. We've got our tiles laid down. Um... What I want to do, I might make this a little bit bigger, actually. Shove these over. I'm going to right-click, copy, pow. Oh, copied as a locked piece. So I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, is it? It's good. I'm going to shrink you a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Grow, lock. Grow lock, grow lock. Beautiful. Um, all right, so tiles are down. Um, next up, we need to make our kind of our centerpiece, and then I'm gonna grow out around that with like trees and other such things. Um, so the way it's gonna be in our setting is there's gonna be like a narrow, like a, a, a forest path somewhere over here. Um, and depending on their checks, uh, they may or may not uh, observe this camp. Um, they probably will. It'll be a pretty easy check. Uh, and if they observe really well, they might find kind of advantageous places to enter that may or may not be in the sight lines of the orc trainer and ogre. Um, so what I'm going to do is now make up that camp. Uh, so here's my props got a lot of props here I've ordered pretty much all of them besides some things that didn't really match into a spot um, so here I've got tents it's a camp need some tents fireplaces need that uh, food and dishes might want that tables chairs chest for loot of course weapons related it's a military camp um, that that might be it it's a pretty temporary installment so it's not gonna need a ton of stuff so here we go uh, we're gonna start out the center point is going to be our tents I'm gonna search through here figure out which tent I like the best this one oh, if I can get it to stay okay this one is nice looks very orcish looks very temporary made out of hide it's perfect so I'm gonna figure out how I want to arrange these tents. They're, they're not they're not very masterful with how they set things out, so it's gonna be pretty basic stuff. Um, nah, that's too nice. Delete you. Okay, so I'm gonna shove all these bags over here. So you can just highlight all of them and then click and hold on one of them and it'll grab them in a group. So it'll be kind of arranged in a, a circle. If, uh, I forget which, well, I'll say this this side with these tiles as our entry point for the party. Um, arrange these out in a basic circle. This will be like a like an orc squad or something. Um, not a very large group. Um, I think that's good. Uh, that's like uh, one more. Yeah. So arrange them like this. We're gonna need a big old campfire in the middle, of course. So search through here. Got a bonfire, a tall one, a brazier, um, uh, brazier, I guess. Brazier is a bra. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is like a cooking campfire. It's kind of broken down. We'll see what we got here. 
Um, it's decent. I'll, I'll see if I can work with that. Uh, grow it up a little bit. Uh, okay. So now I want some fire effects. Uh, fire. Wall of fire, small fire. I, I think that this, like, there's one that I had that's kind of like a, no, I don't want a ring. A big, chunky fire. Small fire plane. Campfire. It's a little bit too weak. Uh, this might, this might work. I can shrink this down and lay the campfire on top of it. That would be super nice. Uh, it's not going to be as helpful as I want. Um, so because this one kind of has the canopy over it, I can't just lay this cube on top of it because it falls off. Um, yeah, it's not being super, super nice to me. Uh, it does have a, a nice collider though because it does roll off like a, like a pyramid. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to choose a different campfire. Uh, fireplace and torches. It'll just be a crude bonfire. There we go. That way we can lay stuff on top of it and doesn't really break the aesthetics of this fire. So this is a nice big kind of bonfire-esque piece. There we go. Grow this a little bit. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit too tall. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Are you, are you emanating from the right spot? Some, sometimes the fire, yeah, you can see I flipped it over. The fire's coming out of the bottom now. You gotta figure out which is the top of the fire cube. There you go. It works pretty nice. If I could shrink it down just a little bit, maybe. No. Alright. Um, I don't like how obvious that cube is. So, I'm gonna go back to this guy. The fire's a little bit more overwhelming on this one. Uh, so we got our fire there. Uh... It's going to be kind of like early dawn uh, in my settings, so I'm going to want some mist around, but I'll do that in the end. Uh, now I'm going to lock these tents because I like their arrangement. Lock the bonfire and the fire. Um, and it, it's not going to have like a bunch of... If this were a night map, I might have like a bunch of torches to give the, the orcs some kind of general visibility when they're doing watch. Uh, but right now, this is just like kind of the leftover fire from when they woke up, they cooked their breakfast, and they went off to war. Uh, so, don't need any more fire. Um, and this is what I love about the fire things, is it, it has that nice kind of glow that it gives off. That's so cool. Um, Alright, so next up, uh, we're going to need some props. So, I had weapons related. Here we go. I want some kind of like, yeah, weapon... Uh, rack. This is perfect. These two. Uh, hmm. Lay out some kind of crude swords and stuff that they left behind, maybe. Alright, so here's a weapons rack that was upside down. Uh, gonna put these in between the camps. Uh, at this point, when you're kind of laying out your decorations, you don't really need to snap the snap to the grid. So I'm going to turn that off. And then once the characters come in, because of combat placement, we're going to want to snap to the grid. So grow this up a bit. Uh, I got another weapons crate over here. Going to grow that up a bit. Uh, lay out some of these. That's where I dropped something else. Hello? There it is. No. I want you. I'm just going to drop you right there. Oh, it's sticking straight up. So I'm going to click this, hit F and release really quick, and it'll drop it. Um, Alright. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do about some bed rolls. So, what is this bag? Oh, well, these are all trees, so I'm going to need these later. Props. I need bed rolls. Beds. Uh, I only really have... I can do cots. Cots work. Um, I 
not really... I, I might be able to do this. So if I do this, lay out my cot, adjust it for size. So I can lay my tent on that. Ugh. So the colliders on this cot are too fat. Uh, if I shrink it down... See, it's like extending past where the cot actually is. So it's not the greatest. We'll just say that they are sleeping on the ground. They're rough and tumble. So there. Uh, so that's an example of when colliders aren't as nice. So a, a collider is kind of like the the physical mesh that encompasses these components that determine where they kind of physically collide with other things. And so that cot had a collider that was way too big. So the tent was kind of resting on that large collider instead of resting on the actual cot. Um, so it's kind of a, a luck of the draw with how good the colliders are going to be. Um, but yeah, you make do with what you can as I'm doing here. Uh, do I want to add anything else? I might want to add some food stuff. They're messy and sloppy. They cooked some food and got angry and wanted to go attack some things. So we got, uh, kind of leftover food plates laying out, pots and pans by the fire to cook with, uh, some bottles and stuff, some more bottles over here. It's just kind of messy, strewn about, a bowl of rice or maggots or whatever orcs eat. Um, so there we go. Nice food trash laying out. Uh, and now I think we're ready to add in our fighters. Do I have anything? Oh, I do want some chest in here. Uh, Nice kind of evil looking orc chest. Lay that over here for the party to try and fuddle with and lockpick. Um, there we go. Uh, tents. Trying to see if I need any other inspiration here. I think we're good. Delete. Bag of effects. Fire. Tiles. Party. So the party is going to be coming in from over here. I'll show you the party. So we have Sneen, our bard, Dorn, our archer, Jelly, who is, which is short for Jelineth, who is our mage, uh, or wizard, Scone, who is a uh, pastry-loving barbarian, Akara, uh, a dragonborn sorcerer. We don't really have, there's no, like, dragonborn models, which suck, so I, she's a blue dragonborn. I found a blue kind of sorcerer looking model and it works out. Nino, our rogue, and he's not Siegfried, I have to rename him. Uh, Siegfried, this, this dog is actually, his name is Umbra and is Akara's dog. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. Siegfried was the name of whoever made the mod from which I found this pupper. Uh, and so I have to close this, drop Umbra, I think I might have thrown it off the map. So when you uh, throw something off the table, it will respawn in the center. It'll just drop from the sky. There we go. So now I can search through it. Umbra has a proper name. I'm going to resave this object as party. Overwrite. Cool. So party's there. When they come in, I will pluck from this bag and plop them as fit... Uh, Props, blah, blah, blah. We need trees. So, this is a big old thing of trees. Somebody took the time to make a lot of trees. Uh, just kind of gonna search around. This will be like a, a foresty area. How, what is, how does this look? That doesn't look phenomenal. I'll see what else we got. That's cooler. So, I don't need you. Um... So it's just kind of a, a, a typical forest. I'm going to add in some typical forest trees. Uh, and then the trees will all be kind of similar to each other. So I'm just going to choose a select few and then copy them and throw them everywhere around. Uh, okay. Uh, some evergreen. Okay. Ooh, a group of evergreen. Perfect. So, 
grow in these trees, make them nice and big, give a good kind of ambiance. So the idea is the party would sneak up through these trees using them as cover and kind of a secret uh, entrance. So works out nicely for them. Uh, I'm going to copy this guy. I liked him. I'm going to get, get rid of this one. He's not that great. And grow. There we go. Okay. Last but not least, we need our fighters. So, uh, we have beasts, dwarfs, elves, dragons, supernatural. Supernatural is kind of a broad term for humanoids that aren't human. Uh, so, I need a kind of just an orc, orc grunt to be a trainer. Uh, it's kind of goofy looking for my needs. Uh-huh. I should have a section that is just straight up orcs. So, uh, here's my ogre. He's a big old guy. Um, he's going to be kind of wimpy, so I'm excited for that interaction. Uh, there's a stone golem. Cyclops is huge. I, I kind of like this opportunity to use the moving ones. And he, yeah, I think he fits fits our needs a little bit better. Um, I think, I can't tell which one I like better. Um, we'll go with him, because this one's all decked out and he looks ready for action. Our, our, our ogre is not, so he, he's going to be upset about having to get all geared up and so he's not he's not geared up and ready uh he's just gonna be over here now i need to find my other my orcs i know they're somewhere dragons elves search huh i must not have organized my orcs saved objects negative effects well, I'll go rescue my orcs wherever they are in the Steam Workshop, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. I went to a workshop that I have saved. Uh, you can see it right here. It's the from the previous episode, the Vess's PC Pack Orcs. Went in there and grabbed some orcs. So I'm just going to go to my saved objects. My fighters is a newly updated bag, so I need to grab that. And there, I got orcs saved. All right, now I can search through these figure out what work I want to be my my measly trainer who's trying very unsuccessfully to coax the ogre to battle um, looking for kind of a a weaker looking one they all that's the problem with the works they all look a lot stronger um, this actually crow yeah I think this one's good so his deal is he's dumb uh, and brash. He's an orc, so he's trying to yell at the ogre to convince him to get pumped up, but the ogre, that's just making the ogre more intimidated. Uh, so there's that. Um, what I do want to do is I want to snap them to the grid because of the potential for combat. So now I'm going to turn on snapping to center. That's actually how they're going to snap. Uh, a little bit of separation. There we go. Um, and there we go. Uh, I'm going to then, I'm going to wipe out a lot of this stuff that I don't need. Props. Buildings, don't need those. Bag of effects I'm going to keep because this will be early dawn, so it's going to be misty. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then what I'm going to do here is highlight everything and lock it into place um, and then once I want to move these I'll unlock them uh, so I don't have to worry about them like settling when I load up the map and like tipping over and just looking looking dopey 
Uh, don't need fire. No, go away. Uh, can delete you. Bag of effects. I want to get some fog going in here. Uh, waterfall. Light snow. Light rain. It's going to be a rainy day, actually. Rain and fog is going to be coming in. Uh, sparks and smoke. Fog. What fog do I have? Oh, that's that's like a super dense fog. I, I just want like a rolling fog. So, that'll fit my needs. And then light rain from above. And I'll see what the smoke is like. So, here I can uh, shrink down my smoke brick. Which are really small. And I'm going to plop it on top of the fire if I can. Oh, I have to turn off the grid. Off. Cool. Plop. Alright, and now you can barely see it, but it's a nice kind of rising black smoke from our fire. Uh, gonna have fog out here. Um, the fog is gonna kind of dissipate around there. Um, gonna need some rain. If I can hide it in the fire, that would be ideal. That's the rain. Dang it. Uh, gotta find a nice spot to kind of hide this in a discreet location. Oh, oh! Oh, that's pretty perfect. Does it give me enough coverage? Why is the rain... Oh, the rain is... It's on its side. The rain comes in at it. It has to come in from the right angle. Oh. Okay. Cool. Can I change the looping effect? Rain, no sound. Ooh, sound is really cool. I'm gonna keep that sound in there. Control C, pop this like over here. All right, so there we go. We got a nice kind of rainy atmosphere coming in. We got fog because we're in the middle of the of dawn. Uh, I'm gonna lock that fog so it disappears. Uh, lock you, lock you. Um. So everything's in place. Oh, this tree is too small. Lock, no. Unlock the tree. Blow that tree up. Then lock it. Alright. All is good then. So here we are. Environment is made. Our encounter is described. Um, and got our bag of effects, our, our party. So we don't need our bag of effects anymore. We do need our party bag because that's where we're going to drop in our, our players. Um, and we're good. And so that'll be uh, what I do for building an encounter. Um, and next episode, I'm going to be talking about running a session and all of the different things I can do uh, to how I use these maps, um, how to run an encounter on this type of map uh, to how to communicate with players about where they move and stuff and moving their character models around, uh, adding in music and uh, appropriate kind of sound effects um, and all of that like. So thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.